all of my memories are growing up in a really tiny British dependent territory called Anguilla. To give you some perspective, it's about 35 square miles total area, 36 during low tide. People knew each other. If you didn't know them directly, you knew who their family and relatives were. I became interested in uh, medicine, not just from the perspective of understanding the fundamentals of how you know, biology works in a, in a living entity, but, but, um, but also the idea that it can go awry and how do you fix it. Every year about, uh, about 700,000 or so, mostly kids under the age of five are estimated to die from malaria. Malaria is a parasitic uh, disease. It's, it's caused by this family of uh, protozoan parasites a mosquito becomes infected by um, feeding on the blood of an infected person. That blood can contain infectious forms of the parasite that develops within the mosquito and eventually will get into the salivary glands of the mosquito and then be transmitted back to the blood of another person who is bitten by that infected mosquito. Within the um, red cell, um, there's an extremely high concentration of hemoglobin, um, which contains the cofactor heme that is responsible largely for the uh, transport of oxygen in the, in the human body. The parasite is able to degrade um, the majority of the hemoglobin within uh, the red cell. The heme, it has to deal with, because heme, that is, not polymerized, has the ability to convert molecular oxygen into more reactive oxygen species that can be damaging to membranes, proteins, DNA, etc. And so the parasite has devised a strategy for polymerizing this heme into this inert polymer called hemozoin. And that actually provides an opportunity for us because if we can prevent the polymerization of heme, in principle, we can see the toxicity of heme uh, re-emerging. And so some of the most successful antimalarial compounds, such as chloroquine, can actually bind heme and uh, prevent its polymerization. And presumably the increased amount of free heme that is produced then kills the parasite. While I don't practice medicine um, currently, um, I think that's just been a really valuable perspective and a framework for me to think about you know, what I do in the long term and, and how that can translate into some impact on, uh, on, on human life.